Welcome to St. Louis Children's Hospital. We are happy you've chosen us to care for you on the day of your selective dorsal rhizotomy surgery, or SDR as we like to call it. Since you've already completed your pre-surgery therapy requirements and had your final assessment with Dr. Park, today we're going to talk about what you can expect on surgery day. Once you arrive, you'll go directly to the same day surgery suite located on the sixth floor. After you check in, a nurse will call your name and take you to your room. Step a little bit further forward. First though, she'll want to get your height and weight and later she will check your basic vital signs like blood pressure and temperature. You'll want to wipe down your body with cleansing towelettes to make sure your skin is as clean as can be before changing into your pajamas. Once you've changed, an anesthesiologist will come in and talk to your parents about how we will help you fall asleep during surgery. While they're talking, you'll be able to pick out a fun flavor that you'll breathe in through a face mask. The mask and the flavor you'll breathe in will help you relax. Depending on your age, this pre-anesthesia sedation can either be given through a face mask or an IV. Older kids typically choose the IV option. Now that you're feeling relaxed and tired, it's time to go. Your parents can follow along right up until you go into the operating room. Time for hugs. Your surgery will last about three and a half hours. During this time, your parents or caregiver are welcome to stay in your room on the sixth floor. However, most prefer to wait in our Ronald McDonald family room, located on the third floor. We will keep in contact with your parents during the surgery to provide them with updates. The Ronald McDonald Family Room provides a relaxing environment complete with comfortable seating areas, televisions, a quiet room, drinks and snacks, shower and laundry facilities, all free of charge thanks to generous donations made to the St. Louis Children's Hospital Foundation. Hi, this is Sherry. I'm in the room with Dr. Park. I'm trying to reach the parents of Alexa. The nurse is on the phone for you. I'll show you where you can take the phone. Are you? Hello, this is Amy. Um, just wanted to let you know that everything is going very well in the operating room. Uh, Dr. Park is changing sides now, so he wanted me to let you know. And uh, we'll give you guys a call back in about an hour. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Your parent or caregiver will head back up to the same day surgery where they will meet Dr. Park in a consultation room. Alexa is doing great. The surgery went just fine. Great. And they, they, they will call you from the recovery room. We always like to remind parents that their child may look a little different in recovery. It's completely normal for you to appear groggy and could also look a little pale. Other equipment, tubes and wires may be present but again, this is common and we're here to answer any questions your parents or caregiver might have. Now it's time to head up to the 12th floor neurosurgery unit where you'll spend the rest of your stay. Oftentimes, patients may share a room with another patient. Be assured that careful consideration is taken when placing children in the same room. Hi Alexa, I'm Angie, I'm gonna be your nurse today. I'm gonna take your vital signs, which will include your blood pressure, your temperature, your heart rate, and your breathing. But first, mom, do you wanna take a look at her back? I can turn her towards me and we'll take a look. Now is also the time when your nurse can carefully show your parent or caregiver the incision from your surgery. Once you've settled in, your nurse will discuss what you can expect over the next five days. Today is called post-op day zero. From now until the end of day two, you will need to stay in bed to help your back heal. Your urinary catheter and epidural will stay in through day two to help keep you comfortable. During this time, you can play games on an iPad, watch movies, or even play games on your OneView interactive system in your room. Hi, I'm Bobby. I'm one of the nurse so I'm with the pain management team. I'm just your pain team will come in to make sure your care plan is working and whether or not your medication needs to be modified. Dr. Park may come by your room to check in on you and make sure you are recovering well. Day three is a busy day. This is when your nurse removes the urinary catheter and epidural. This may be a tough day, 
since you will now experience some of the pain the epidural was helping to keep under control. Therefore, you will receive an extra dose of oral medicine in the early morning, in addition to continuing to receive IV medications to help control that pain. Medications will also be given to help promote a bowel movement. Day three is also when parents learn how to position you in bed and to transfer you from a bed to a wheelchair. At this point, you'll be mobile enough to attend therapy and can also start visiting our healing gardens, the cafeteria, and other hospital amenities. By the time you reach day four, you'll notice that things are starting to get easier. This is the day that your IV will be removed and therapy sessions will continue. Day five will begin with another therapy session and then it's time to pick up your prescribed medications. We have a pharmacy located in the hospital on the first floor for fast and easy pickup. It's time to go home. You'll be given discharge paperwork to bring home with you. Keep this information handy in case you need to contact us with questions after arriving back at home. We want to thank you for choosing St. Louis Children's Hospital. We understand that this procedure can be overwhelming, but we're here to help you and your family along the way.